Bluepoint is one of the only platforms in the world that provides internal defense, managed detection response for internal corporate networks, as well as protecting the supply chain and digital risk protection, which is protecting a customer's brand. What would you say sets Bluevoyant apart from its competitors? The ability to have both internal and external defense. Um, so looking at, again, managed detection response coupled with the ability to look at their entire supply chain, all their third parties, um, and then also protect the brand. Tell me what new developments Bluevoyant has accomplished this past year. Some of the biggest developments we've made is in AI and ML. Mm -hmm. uh, we spend a ton of time and energy building our own proprietary AI models internally so we can get better at detecting threats be more accurate in our descriptions of those threats and responding back to our customers in a timely manner, mm -hmm. but also working with our partners like Microsoft and driving adoption of, of Microsoft's Cobalt for Security yeah. um, as a core tenant of our capabilities. We want our enterprise customers to be using AI tools that makes life easier for us, and then we're investing in AI tools to help our organization scale the ability to detect threats and respond. So you're an international company. Tell me about the significance in that. Yeah, I think that is a critical key factor in what Blue Point provides to so its clients. We allow sort of cultural alignment uh, because we're globally distributed and we have different teams in different countries and it allows us to align directly with our clients um, and be able to translate sort of large global cybersecurity trends and technologies and be able to provide a really sort of white glove experience for our, for our clients. What other trends are you noticing right now in the cybersecurity sector? Most organizations are moving to the cloud quite rapidly. Yeah. Uh, they're global companies using all three clouds to provide services and then SaaS applications that are located internationally. They're not just in the United States or just in, in Europe. So it's presenting unique challenges for organizations, how to manage data mm -hmm. across uh, country boundaries where there's different laws and regulations protecting that data uh, in those locations. And so we are actively working with customers, mainly multinational customers, to make mm -hmm. sure they're aware of the risks they are bringing into the organization by working and delivering their data into the cloud and storing that data in third parties they don't have control over. Well, a lot of important takeaways from you both. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you.